Mr. and Mrs. Badass, would you be so kind to do the voiceover for this video? But we weren't even in the timeline when this was filmed, well, man. Yeah, but would you? Yeah, sure we will, right, honey? Thank you. Are you finishing my sentences again, babe? Yes, I am, dear. Previously, Previously on Socks, Socks with, with Sandals. So, Kay has had this uh, long held plan. In fact, the reason she got the van was to do the ley lines, and we could be very near the St. Michael alignment going all the way from Hopton on Sea all the way down to Land's End. First port of call on the pilgrimage of the St. Michael alignment. Now the St. Michael alignment pilgrimage continues at Creech St. Michael. Let's have a go. See if it's open. Yes, oh. it is. Yes. We have got it. Oh yeah. These nails in the door, the solid oak door, from the 15th century, that's like before the reign of Henry VIII. <laughs> the nave of St Michael's lies in the Jacobean biblical text found under the paint on the wall. It appears that a hedonistic pleasure of committing the heinous offence of reading the Bible in a church has been denied me on this occasion, but Camper Van Kay believes there is a Bible quote to read out on one of the inscriptions. Look at these hornets here, or are they queen wasps? Either way, nasty. The King James Bible dates from 1611 and that pretty much defines the limit of what most people can understand in Old English and this is a century before then it's almost unintelligible not quite Chaucer but still well the great thing about a pilgrimage is it takes you to spots you would never have considered otherwise makes you wonder what's the thinking behind this in a block. Hmm. Is it meant to be art? British Legion. I used to be a member of the British Legion in Rogerstone in Gwent. It's like pound a pint even just a few years ago. Brilliant. Beautiful old door with all these studs, ancient. Look at this. It's aged.
don't know. I don't know what to say. My mind goes blank. How pleased are you that you've ticked off uh, one item on your pilgrimage itinerary? Yay! Push over a pile of pennies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to go to Barrow Bridge Month next. So we're on to the next church on the ley line, or probably preceding the church. There is a place called Barrow Bridge Month, which appears to be a Stone Age burial site so looks like probably the Christians attempted to usurp those landlines and claim them for their religion and guess what all the churches along the St. Michael alignment are called St. Michael's what are the odds but I mean we'll never know what those ley lines were called before the Christians ethnically cleansed them in the way monotheism so frequently does everywhere. This is how you imagine a ley line, isn't it? Like a big Iron Age uh, development with a great big Christian church usurping. Camper van cake and yomp up a hill. And what a hill. What it's worth, I believe that they are ancient paths, like say the Roman paths, Ermin Way, Foss Way. But that have been denied us by successive, successful religious conquests and that the modern resurgence of interest in the ley line is a genuine effort to seek out our true past as a people and as a nation.
Yeah, that turned out to be heavier than I thought it would. <laughs>